All right, what's up, PV Poppers? It's Jordy Pop 83 here today with a video that's uh, kind of a video I wanted to make for a while. Well, half of it is, and the other half is uh, something that uh, I think uh, I need to address. Right? There's been a lot of drama over the last uh, couple of weeks in the PVP community, and uh, if I'm being honest, it's a little disheartening, right? I mean, this community is supposed to be you know, inclusive and um, supportive and all that wonderful stuff. And so basically I I wrote a couple of pages because <laughs> I didn't want to miss anything. I didn't want to, um, you know, to, uh, I wanted to make sure I said everything that I wanted to say without, you know, sounding like an idiot. So a letter to the community. So lately I seem to have upset some people with some of my tweets. I feel as though in society, in society today, there is a tendency, and I'm guilty of this too, of only partially reading a tweet and deriving only the meaning that you want to get out of it, instead of trying to understand what the, uh, what the other, what uh, what the author intended. And believe me, I get the urge to connect during these times, and it seems us humans like to connect over shared outrage more often than not. I think the easiest way for me to explain is to start from the beginning. Almost nine months ago now, I started my YouTube channel with the goal of providing information intense PVP videos and self arena content. My biggest break to date came when I submitted a video for the Florida Mega Cup. While this was happening in my personal life, I was just getting done helping my dad recover from kidney cancer. We had a falling out in early January, and he told me that he was moving and that I could not come with him. And over the last decade, I had a terrible battle with opiate addiction. Having scoliosis and terrible back pain in the early 2000s only led to one thing usually, and that is a prescription for opiates or oxy. So after a very difficult 10 years going through every part of the opiate addiction, I had little, if any, way to uh, move out, but I tried. I was uh, starting to get back, uh, starting to book a lot of bartender shifts through a temp work app, and then the pandemic hit. Next page. <laughs> and I figure, no way this moron is still moving. And then Gavin Newsom put a statewide uh, lockdown in place. So basically, uh, and so I was like, there's fucking no way that the movers are going to move, right? So basically, I realized that at that time that YouTube was not going to be able to help me um, at that time in my life. So I decided to switch to Twitch. Switch to Twitch! And um, truth be told, I have never... I had never even ever been on Twitch before I had started streaming, so I literally knew none of the etiquette. So here's where I start apologizing, right? First and foremost, I want to apologize to Manam Zeus and to King of Charmanders. First off, if it hadn't been for King of Charmanders, I would have never, ever reached affiliate as quick as I did. Um, and and I, I absolutely see now that I was fucking annoying, so annoying, and one-sided, asking for raids, uh, going to other people's channels and typing up type to see how long and how likely it was that they were going to raid me. Super lame, super tacky, and I greatly, greatly apologize for that. Um, I do wish that, uh, that KOC, you know, had taken the time to ask me why, uh, you know, why I was acting the way that I was before he blocked me, but I, I get it. I totally get it. And uh, for my boy Zeus, man, he would never say a negative word about anybody, but I know that I must have disappointed him with my actions. So I just want to say how much I appreciate you two and hope someday I can regain your respect. Um, that brings us to the current stuff. I think a lot of this recent drama can be linked directly to misunderstanding and misreading of tweets. The Galar Lanoon debacle, in my opinion, was not the best side of this community. The accusations that went flying, calling people that were able to get the moves cheaters and the such, only to have it reversed 
at which time they doubled down and started laughing and, and uh, at the lost resources. Um, I'll say one last thing. It is, uh, I'll say this one last time. It is very dangerous precedent to set to allow Niantic to go into your bag and change literally anything at all. That's fucking crazy, man. That should not be happening. Um, and that's all I want to say on that topic. You know, I just, I don't want to stir up any old stuff. I just want to try to, you know, um, address the stuff that's out there and try to, you know, at least give my side of the story. As for Matty F. Baby, man, this one really hurt. So he tweeted a long thread about Megan Fox, about uh, being sexually assaulted with the caption, this thread though, with a cry face and a mad face. I thought he was saying it's ridiculous before I read it. So reading it with that, uh, with that lens, I thought the narrator was a little over the top and thought that's what he meant. So I said, ha ha. He answered was seriously with no punctuation, so again, I thought he was agreeing. Then I wrote, I don't doubt that the industry is a nightmare for females, but uh, females to navigate, but I, uh, it's not like she was going to win any awards or anything. He did not think that was funny. I don't think that was funny in hindsight either. And um, so then, you know, he called me childish and was like, oh, I guess we... Um, and so then, then I was like, oh, oh, all right. Well, I guess we aren't on the same page after all. And then he blocked me. And that really bummed me out. I really look up to him. So, okay, so all that. Max, quiet. Lucy, Max. Um, so basically all that to say, I apologize to the community. I am sorry for not being able to keep my mouth shut really you know i mean we all have opinions hi she just likes to talk a lot um you know we all have our opinions you know and um i'm kind of learning that sometimes you don't need to share them all the time but uh i also know that just because you don't agree with you know somebody's opinion doesn't mean that you need to block them you know you don't have to agree with somebody 100 percent of the time um, so yeah, this asks my next thing. So I also wanted to point out that it's okay to not agree 100% with someone you can still be friends with. I think the world would benefit with a little less outrage. So that's my letter to the community. I hope that clears some things up. Um, if there's ever anything that you guys want to know, or, you know, if you're hearing some I don't know, some weird rumors for no reason that you're like, that doesn't sound right. Just tweet at me and I'd be happy to explain anything that might be bothering you. But I hope that this, um, I don't know, hope this finds the community and I hope that uh, this, you know, clears some things up. And um, to the future and beyond, we are looking forward to our road trip coming up shortly. Uh, I'll be starting that next week and um, GBL's back baby let's go all right I'll see you guys on the next one